when Buddhism came to Tibet, we understood that there is no glory in killing people or occupying lands. And it takes more courage to understand your own state of mind. And if you want to conquer, conquer your greed. If you want to kill, kill your anger and hatred. And, and there lies the true lessons of Ahimsa uh, and, and Karuna, which is, which is the basis of all our existence. So these are the lessons of Karuna and Ahimsa that we have received from, from India. So, right. so you see, you know, therefore, His Holiness again and again says that India is our guru. And we are our chela. Uh, so therefore, when we are, uh, you know, uh, positioned on these basic philosophies, uh, we should not have any second thought about, about this or look at this as a weakness. Our weakness is that we are not able to find confidence or, or conviction in Karuna and Ahimsa. If we, if we do, then we will see uh, that um, the physical emanation of empire building in terms of uh, financial power, in terms of military power are, are false. Right. Um, China, China may have built a huge economic uh, infrastructure today, or they may be hugely powerful, but neither are the Chinese people inside happy, nor is the world happy with China today. Then what is the point? What is the point? You know, ultimately in life, we want to live in peace and we want happiness and we want to share this happiness. And the power is there in, in happiness, not in, the, not in the capacity to torture and hurt other people. That's monstrosity.